we ain't going far. Enthusiast, and today's video we're going to talk about the PK40. Wait, the what? Okay, this sounds bad. I think a revision is necessary. Welcome back, Mowers Bike Enthusiast, and yes, I said the PK40. I want to first apologize for not having any recent ride footage, and the Wildcat is in pieces. With that said, here we go. Up until this point, the Wildcat has been running good. But one screw ruined it all. On a short but fun ride to work, the small bubble gear on the crankshaft came loose. At first I thought it was bearing related and I was ready for those set of problems, but when I realized it had stripped the threads on the shaft, I already had a game plan in mind. From what I understand is that if you have a short stroke rod with the stock cylinder from the kit and you modify it on a long, 40 millimeter stroke with a high hole piston, it would run into the head. Upon splitting the case, I indeed found at least one bearing that would give, it, give me a headache down the road. But we'll deal with that later. So here's what happened and here's what we're going to do. For those of you who will say, the PK-80 is already a long stroke rod, I have something to ask. And for those of you who feel confident in what I'm doing, to say I grant you all criticism rights, because I have got a lot more to learn. Moving on with my idea on this. Since my last rebuild didn't go so well, I have a spare cylinder and a high hole piston, and to make things less complicated with the hard to find parts such as in your stroke lengths, we will mod this thing into a 40mm long stroke engine and get what I originally wanted for my build. So we'll start calling the PK-80 the PK-40, 40 as in 40mm. Since this, is, this happened midweek, I couldn't get a Sunday ride footage, so I'll leave you with what I have. Hope you enjoy. Alright, we got the fire trucks and ambulances and the busy city around us. And with this, I think we can mute it all. We ain't going far. Oh, <laughs> 